everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Corey. Today we're going to try to do a classic uh, Roman or Italian dish uh, called spaghetti carbonara. But we're not going to, they usually use the cheek marrow or the cheek, uh, uh, cheek meat. I don't got any, so I'm going to have to use bacon. We're going to use parm. Sometimes they use pecorino. But that's the way we're going to roll with it today. I'd like to welcome you back to Cooking with Corey. I appreciate it. And so here are our ingredients today. Thick cut bacon, parmesan, a couple eggs, spaghetti. We're going to use a decent amount of fresh cracked pepper, a little bit of pasta water. That's about it. We'll shoot her next. Okay, we're back. We've got, got our bacon rendered out real well. Got all that fat there, which is good. We're turning off the heat. We got eggs. We don't want to scramble those eggs. So one thing I'm going to do, white wine, white wine of your choice, we'll deglaze that pan. There we go. Now we're going to start going in with our pasta with some more. You hear that sizzle? You don't want to hear that when your eggs go in. Go. Good. All right. Two tosses. Get all that oil incorporated in there. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Corey. Today, we're going to do a creamy shrimp scampi pasta. Just so you know, you could use this sauce without the pasta. You could top it with or a steak or some fish. It would be really good on like a black and salmon. I'm going to add some pasta to it today though. It's not a traditional scampi. We're going to add most of the traditional stuff, but we're going to bring it together with a little bit of cream. It holds better. It, 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 it's a great product. It's a wonderful dish. So let's get to the ingredient list. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Corey. Today, chicken marsala. A lot of people want it. We're going to do it. Let's get to the ingredients here. Here's what we got going on today. We got some red onion. You can definitely use shallot. I, I use red onion because most people are gonna have red onion readily available. Uh, one clove of garlic, I just sliced it up. It was a fat clove. Uh, some fresh uh, rosemary. You don't have to use it if you don't got it. Got about eight ounces of chicken breast here that I have laid out in some plastic wrap and I beat down and so they're nice and thin. Uh, four ounces of mushrooms, half a cup of cream, uh, three quarters of a cup of sweet marsala, and I got some seasoned breadcrumbs over here, and we're going to get the cook going on here shortly. See you back. So it's there. Two tablespoons of butter, which I didn't tell you the ingredients because I kind of forgot about it. I'm going to go in there. We're going to melt him down. We're going to kill the heat. And the next time I see you, after I throw a little bit of fresh parsley in there, give it a little bit of color, then we plate this. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Corey. Today, we are gonna do something special. We're gonna use Mr. The Real Show barbecue sauce, Scott Bailey sauce. We're gonna make some real Eastern North Carolina ribs out here in Nebraska. We're gonna pull it off we're going to do it the correct way. It's going to be delicious. We'll see you back. All right, so we got him off the off the Traeger. Here we go. Eastern North Carolina barbecue at its finest. I'm hoping our baby back. We're going to flip her over. Take a cut out of it. Here. All right, peeps, look at that. Look at all that coming out of there. <laughs> oh, the smells, it's delicious. Look at nice, juicy. All right, here we go. We're gonna do the bite test. You're gonna see my ugly, ugly bug.
absolutely delicious. Vinegar, sweet, spices, a lot of spice in it, not a lot. Really, 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 really well balanced. So once again, go get this sauce at the real show barbecue. His name is Scott. He will hook you up and go check out his channel. And once again, I'd like to thank you for stopping by cooking with Corey. Love the support. We'll see you next time. Hey everybody. Alright, we're out here on the team. We got our ribs. Let's get them on. Set. We got that going. We got our T set to around 300. I'll bring you out for the first, second, third box. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Corey. Fortunately, I lost a bet last weekend to uh, Daddy Dutch barbecue and cooking. So today I got to cook spam. Huskers lost to the Hawkeyes. So the bet was that the losing team has to cook spam. So today, I'm gonna make our gargantuan fried spam, fried oyster, fried Vienna sausage. Oh boy, it's gonna be delicious. Here are the ingredients, people. So when I was walking through the store, initially I was going to smoke some spam. And then I saw these delicious Vienna sausages and these delicious oysters and I thought, you know what? We're just going to fry them up. They're going to make a big old sandwich. We're going to use panko, sriracha mayo. I uh, got a tomato out here. We're going to use some lettuce. Got a big loaf of fresh bread. Probably just going to do half. But here's here's the payback for the bet that I got to do. Last second field goal, I might add. But a win's a win. So here it is. We'll bring you to it next. So yeah, all right, everybody, we're back. Here's our Vienna sausage, our oysters, and our spam. So to make our spam topping, right here, we got a uh, four tablespoons of regular mayo, get a squirt of sriracha. Dill Relish, your favorite brand. One heapy tablespoon. Two cracked pepper. Mix this up. Then We got sriracha, dill, mayo. Sriracha, dill, relish, mayo. We'll be back. We'll fry up some stuff. All right. Time to flip this spam. See what we got going on the other side. See how it's starting to brown up on the edges right here. Give her a nice flip. Be careful when you do this. We are working with hot grease. I'm using throw up. Use what you like. There's a spam. Gonna give it another minute, minute and a half on this side. Take it off. Put it over here on a little rack, chill and not get soggy. And I'm gonna cook my Vienna sausage and my oysters. The same process. I don't think I need to bring you guys through that. I might just with a Vienna sausage because it's cool. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll build our sandwich. The spam bet is working away. All right, Kit, everybody, Kit at Daddy Dutch Barbecue and Cooking, and everybody else, we're gonna build our spaminator sandwich with other canned beets. So here we go. Got a big old loaf of bread here that I've sliced. We got our sriracha dill relish mayo. 
Don't be shy. You're other good. Speaking of football, obviously this is a loss for the Huskers, and this is why I have to make a spam challenge. Hey, this might be delicious for next time. Got a bunch of guys sitting around coming over for some football. One piece of spam. Two pieces of spam. Three pieces of spam. Let's scoot that over. Make sure we get plenty of spam in there. Let's make it four. Four nice big slices of spam. Get our Vienna sausage in there. There we go. Our Vienna sausage. Squish it down just a little bit there. Sprinkle that with our. Well, we lost one. Oyster overboard. There's an oyster there. Put one down here. Put another one up here. Smush. Alright. So, at this point in time, give this a little bit of our sriracha dill relish mayo. To hit our other half of our bun over here with some tomato. And some lettuce. And some onion. Flip them over like that. There we got it, folks. Spam. Fried Spam. Fried oysters. Fried Vienna sausage. Chipotle dill relish. Mayo. Tomato. Onion. I probably missed a thing or two when we put it in this bad boy. We'll do a taste test next. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Corey. We got a couple requests for something, so we're going to do that today. It's called the chicken roulade. It's an old dish I used to do with some friends when I was a chef uh, at a restaurant. Very, uh, fuck it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Corey. Today, we're going to do the chicken roulade. I've had a lot of requests for it. I've just got a restaurant I worked at for seven years here in Lincoln. We, I, I made a gazillion of I really couldn't remember the recipe to the T, but I'm going to try to get it close. So this is for Mr. Dave Berry, Ian, Brooke, Jackie, and also Travis Evans, a chef friend of mine from, he lives in Cardi now, he owns Sozo there in Cardi, and he uh, and gets burgers and shakes in Cardi in Omaha. He's actually got this on his menu there now, so he helped me remember the, the ingredients for it. So let's go, here we go, here are our ingredients for today. Cream cheese, butter, shallot, uh, some chopped spinach, got that frozen, uh, grape tomatoes, basil, angel hair pasta, Asiago cheese, I got a little cheese blend, a little six cheese blend here, and, and we're going to use some chicken breast, we're going to take this, we're going to make a stuffing, we're going to stuff our chicken breast, and I'll, I'll walk you through that. And then we're going to make a, a, a sauce out of that. We're going to use white wine, and it's going to be garlic. It'll get my garlic on my board right now. And we'll add the tomatoes to it, and butter, and angel hair. And we're going to finish it with some more basil. It's going to be delicious, guys. Let's get cooking next on Cookie with Corey. Okay, go. Alright, let's plate this bad boy up. We got our pasta. Got some of our delicious tomatoes. And get one of the stars of our show over here. One of our delicious chicken roulades we worked so hard on. I don't know if I told you guys, but I did flip these while they were in the oven once or twice. So we're gonna finish with some more. Asiago cheese, some 
more basil. Alright guys, let's cut into it and see how he looks. Look at that. Still nice and juicy as you can tell up here. Look at all that juicy chickenness. Alright, I'm going to cut a piece off for you guys are watching here. That cheese and that stuff will go down into the make even more sauce for you. A little bit of the pasta. Our chicken. Oops. It's the chicken roulade. Make it, make it your own. Tweak it a little bit. Or probably add a little bit more chicken stock to make it a little bit more saucy, or you could add a little bit more butter. It's good the way it is. Thanks for watching Cooking with Corey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next week. All right, everybody, let's cut this bad boy. See what we got going on here. What can you see down there, Jim? I see Spam. I see Oyster. I see Vienna Sausage. I see Fried Deliciousness. Alright. Let's see if I can get a piece of this into my mouth. Did you get a close-up on that? I mean, look at that. I mean, come on now. Alright. Let's take a taste test. That's good. We'll see you next time with Cookie with Corey. Like, share, and subscribe. Iowa sucks. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Cookie with Corey. I got my better half here, Jen. Josh and Babe have got a cocktail collab coming out, I think, on November 1st. So we're going to join that. And my girl here, Jen, she's going to do two for you. So let's get it on. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Corey. Today we're going to do a Chipotle honey glazed smoked hair ball. It'll be delicious. Ham balls, ham loaf. Regardless, we're going to make them into balls. We're going to smoke them out there on the tea. We're going to give them a delicious glaze. We'll be back with the ingredients. Alright, I'm going to make two fall themed cocktails today. I'm going to make a caramel apple cocktail and I'm going to make a pumpkin spice uh, spiked uh, coffee drink. Okay, so let's do the caramel apple first and I'm going to use this um, kissed caramel uh, Smirnoff vodka and just a shot of that. And then I'm going to top it off with some apple cider. You can put some ice in here if you want. I think it's just fine the way it is. You want a stronger drink, adjust accordingly. That's about medium. And then I think it's pretty good just as simple as that. But if you want to add a little bit more sweetness, you can add some extra caramel to it. I'm going to put a little caramel right on my apple garnish and stick that in there. And there's my caramel apple cocktail. This is delicious. Tastes just like a caramel apple? Yeah. Okay. So, quick and easy as that. Now the other one, you know they've got those um, pumpkin spice coffee drinks in the coffee shops. Well, we're going to do something like that, but it's going to be even better because it's going to have a little extra kick to it. So, I've got about a cup of uh, hot coffee here. I would normally make it in a mug, but I put it in a glass so you could uh, see what it looks like through the glass. I'm going to put in a shot of co 
Kahlua. And a shot of pumpkin spice cream liqueur. Look at that Whoa. nice color that gives that. It's like a black and tan beer. Is that what they call it? Black and no, because it was so late on top of the other. Never mind. And then, to make it a little extra special, we're going to put some whipped cream on top. And garnish with some more pumpkin spice. So I got my little strainer here. Just tap it a little bit, get a nice little dusting there. And then I've got this beautiful, delicious pumpkin spice spiked coffee. Mm. Tastes like fall. Don't forget to do your thing. Like, share, and subscribe. So I hope you try these cocktails. I hope you enjoy them. And don't forget to... Like. Like. Share. Share. And subscribe. Subscribe to... Corey. Cook it with Corey.